Apple has had the Apple Pencil for some time now, but the most common question consumers ask is why isn't it supported on iPhone? That is what I'll explain right now. The Apple Pencil is actually my favorite accessory for the iPad, but let's let Steve Jobs explain the first reason why it is supported with iPhone. How are we going to communicate this? We don't want to carry around a mouse, right? So what are we going to do? Oh, a stylus, right? We're going to use a stylus. No. No. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. So let's not use a stylus. We're going to use the best pointing device in the world. We're going to use a pointing device that we're all born with. We're born with 10 of them. We're going to use our fingers. Apple Pencil has a place on the iPads to live on. That place is the top of the iPad itself. On the iPhone, there is no place to magnetically stick the pencil on, as the iPhones are way too small to fit the Apple Pencil. There is no need to have a separate spot to put the pencil away, as the pencil sticks magnetically on the iPad. But you may ask, what about the first generation? The first generation didn't stick and charge on the iPad. It was charged and plugged into the iPad's lightning port. The thing is, the iPhone had a lightning port. Why did the iPhone have Apple Pencil support? Well, the pencil is too big, I need to put it away. That place to put it away was still on the top of the iPad in a case. Thanks for watching to the end. I actually wrote the script with an Apple Pencil. Might as well since I created a video about Apple Pencils. Like and subscribe for more Willy Apple content.